Jennifer Lopez became so rich about her birth, her success, and some bad and controversial stuff about her. Who is not a fan of Jennifer Lopez? She is one of the most popular faces in pop culture now. No matter if it's a trending pop song or a sensational Hollywood film, Jennifer Lopez is just an omnipresent hot topic. But how did she achieve this immense success? And what are some of the issues that have been raised about her? Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to discuss how Jennifer Lopez became so rich, her birth, her success, and some bad and controversial stuff about her. Subscribe to the channel now for more videos like this. With that being said, let's begin. Jennifer Lynn Lopez was born on July 24, 1969, in Los Angeles, United States. She is a former American Idol judge and singer actress. She became the first Hispanic actress to earn more than $1 million for her first big role in Selena, 1997. Her fifth studio album, Como Ama Ama Una Mujer, 2007, earned the most first week sales in the United States for a debut Spanish album. She is regarded as the most prominent Hispanic artist in North America, with a total film gross of $3.1 billion and projected record sales of $80 million. Jennifer Lopez's net worth has gradually increased since her meteoric rise to international celebrity in 1997. She's worked on a variety of projects in the entertainment sector, all of which have led to her enormous riches. Continue watching to learn how Jennifer Lopez accumulated her $400 million net worth and how she spends it. How did J-Lo become so wealthy? Jennifer Lopez has had a successful career spinning over 20 years and shows no signs of slowing down. The triple threat began her career as Fly Girl on In Living Color before landing a big break in 1997 as the late Tejano Diva Selena. Jennifer had a string of leading roles in the 1990s, notably voicing the character Azteca in Ants. Made in Manhattan counts as a highest grossing film, garnering $154.9 million on a $55 million budget. Jennifer was able to command large payments by the mid-2000s, earning a reputed $15 million for Monster and Law. Jennifer's pop stardom has also helped her earn a lot of money, with her debut album on the 6 selling more than 10 million copies. Jennifer Lopez became a fortune for her performance as Selena in the late 1990s. She has subsequently released seven more studio albums, one remix album, one soundtrack album, and three mixtapes. Jennifer's perfume and fashion labels, corporate sponsorships, producing credits, Real estate, holdings, and time as a TV judge on American Idol have all earned her millions. Jennifer, according to Just Richest, spends her money on a pleasant lifestyle that includes fancy automobiles and clothing. She publicly supports the American Red Cross and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Jennifer also invests in real estate, having bought properties in Los Angeles, the Hamptons, New York, and Miami. While J-Lo is on her honeymoon in Paris, a scandal erupts in the United States, the reason for this is the actress's decision to adopt her new husband's surname. She didn't have to sign anything legal. All she had to do was sign Love, Mrs. Jennifer Lynn Affleck in her July 17th newsletter. Jennifer Lopez has been charged with being anti-feminist following their covert nuptials to actor Ben Affleck. Jennifer Weiner compared her performance to the dystopian society of Gilead in the dystopian novel and film The Handmaid's Tale, where women were required to adopt the name of the commander who owned them. JLo's choice reflects the greater prestige and influence of males in relationships and society, claimed the Rachel Robnett. In the United States, assuming the husband's last name is a custom that 80% of women follow, JF appears pretty archaic when seen in this context. But what if it is a forceful declaration of independence? Taking your husband's last name in the Middle Ages indicated that you were now his property, whilst maintaining your name was a symbol of independence and autonomy. But now one must make a firm decision on their own. Perhaps Jennifer has established her identity as a legitimate brand on which she has independently amassed a billion dollar fortune. If so, can all she has already accomplished be undone with only one signature? Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one. That's it for the day, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us.